All right, well, it is 30 below out, so I figured I could just do a little bit of a day in life of 30 to below. So it's a little after nine o'clock now. Still dark, as you can see. Um, but my mom is on her way. We are gonna work on something for my dad. He's retiring this year, so yeah. <coughs> my throat is actually hurting. Because it's like crazy. All the fog. All right. So breakfast is hard when it's 30 below. I've been trying to have smoothies, but that makes you cold. And you're cold all the time. But actually, I think it's a little cooler than 30 below now. But um, you don't really want to drink something cold unless it's coffee or ice cream because you know Alaskans are crazy and we still like consume the most ice cream per capita in like the US which just is crazy to me but I guess it kind of makes sense whenever I'm somewhere hot I don't really want ice cream because it's like the sugary and like the heat it just doesn't do well but I love ice cream so anyway we're going to make a smoothie my mom's actually going to bring me the coffee so hopefully that should balance out body temperature. Did your car start okay? My car started okay. I was a little bit shocked, but it did. Yeah, because you've been here for how long? Two hours. Two, two hours, and my computer is now saying 40 below. So, oh yeah, it is pretty cold. Actually, I had to take the Miller's car home yesterday because I forgot to plug in my car, and so I had it plugged in for like an hour, and it still wasn't starting. So, oh no, Allie, there's no water. Oh no, it'll, it'll come. Oh, I thought the pipes froze. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, a tap on and off. Oh, seat, okay. So. Woo. Anyway, almost done with our slideshow that we're making. Um, we just need to figure out this last slide, Mom. Okay, so kids are supposed to be down for a nap, Oliver. Mom. Where's your blanket? Making peanut butter at our house. Um, later at our house, I think. All right, take a good nap and figure it out of your mouth. Okay, I will wake it up in the morning with you in the morning. Okay, sounds good. I love you. I am pretty sure she just told me to get out. I like, put her in her crib and I was just kind of cuddling her and I think she said get out and I was like, okay. So I left and she did not cry. So that means she really is tired. Now I could either get some productive stuff done or I can relax. So I do have coffee though. So I always feel bad if I'm not productive and I have coffee to help me. So this little guy didn't last very long. On his couch, he moved over to my couch because he wants to see what I'm doing, but it's nap time. Right? No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Anyway, he, I was watching a vlog and they were traveling, and so he is asking if we can go on a trip, but he doesn't know. Two days after I Christmas, just my finger. we're going to get on an AIR. I'm playing. Oh my god. Yeah, I am playing. <laughs> You're not supposed to know how to spell. I don't think he's figured it all out because we keep talking about someday we're going to go on a trip. We have one planned soon. Yeah. No, I don't want you chewing on your nails because that's too close to sucking on your finger. Mr. O. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Time to go light it back down. No. Night night. I love you. There's okay. Molly! I'm gonna go get Molly and Hazel right now. I'm gonna go get in the van? Yeah. Hey Molly, time to go. Get in the van. <laughs> nice good girl. Oh. Are you ready? Did you have a good nap? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Are you cuddling Mama? Yeah, I love you. Are you my baby? No. No, you're not my baby? No. Ooh, it's chilly in the garage. Garage doors, you're not. 
Hold the heat in very well. Do that, Hazel. This is actually ice here, guys. It looks like the car thawed, but we froze with how cold it is in the garage. You can see it's steaming like crazy. I keep a ton of extra winter gear here in case we ever break down or something. Uh, we don't live in town, so we wouldn't have help immediately if something were to happen. So I have more than just coats. I have like a full set of outdoor gear for everyone in the car. Wow, it is ice fog. I gotta make sure my lights are on today. Cameras really pick up so much more light than our eyes do. I just looked, it does not look nearly as foggy as it does in real life. It's pretty crazy. I didn't check the tent before we left the house. 40 below is still too normal to have to shut life down at. So that's more of a 50 below thing, or you know, 60. But 40 below people are definitely starting their cars during church and stuff to make sure they can leave church afterwards. Mmm, is that a good chocolate granola bar? It's yummy? Yeah. Yeah? I the water. That's your water? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. All right, Hazel, we're gonna try starting the car. This is the ultimate test here. Okay. See the signal? Uh-oh. What? Car is not starting. It's not going. All right, well, we'll go out, try to key start it. See if that works. And if that doesn't work, then I'm not really sure what you do. See, I hate key starting it when the auto start won't work. I feel like I'm being mean to my car, so we'll try. Hello car, how are we doing today? Are we gonna start? Did you see how long it took that stuff to show up? The car is really cold. Ah. Well, that answers that question not gonna start so the car was plugged in so maybe the battery is dead now because it's so cold I don't know this is why we need garages <coughs> wow <coughs> wow that cold air really gets to your throat okay I'm gonna call Samuel he'll tell me what to do I have no idea oh Hazel is playing with my keys that is good thing I caught that before I tried to touch the battery and hook that up. I know she was playing with my keys because my auto start just went off and failed. Unfortunately, that would have been nice. Hey, give me my keys. I see you with my keys. Give them here. All right, so I found the lever to pop the hood. I think it's frozen shut. Help me just bring on some of this ice here. It's starting to pop. There we go. Okay. Where's the little... Is there like ours? Don't touch it, don't touch it. It will burn your hand. Quick Google search to figure something out. Hands are way too cold to figure it out out there. Hi. Hi. How do we figure it out? <laughs> so I've tried German the fire and that did not work. So we're not sure if the battery is totally dead or if we just hooked it up wrong. So um, their dad's on the way home, so he'll come check and see if we did it right now and then we'll know what to do but my toes are numb it's so cold got my old battery out cleaned it put it back in and it still did not work so we are just waiting on a new battery for someone to pick up period i need to dad and samuel see who can rescue me first here <laughs> two hours later we are still going at it but i think they did it hey. <laughs> this was a more serious jump this time I'm always afraid of getting my hair stuck in that belt there. Gonna take a warmer day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
they seem to have this under control, so I'm going back inside. All right, so dad left. The car is officially started. And I'm just gonna make sure the heat is on in the most appropriate way to heat up the car the fastest. Look how cold my car looks. Oh. I do not want to get in there in like a couple minutes. So we are officially on the road. I don't know, my car feels a little weird. This is not a normal day in the life video at 40 Below anymore because normally my car does not break down in 40 Below. It's just time for the battery to die anyway. And now I need to get gas and I really don't want to turn my car off because my toes are throbbing. They hurt so bad right now. This is when extra tests do fail us sometimes. Well, I don't have insulated ones. Look how cold it looks. Uh, look how perfect that is. Samuel just pulled up right there. Oh, I guess he needs that front pump. But I have the Costco card. Every other car here is still running while we get gas. Usually we do turn our cars off, but apparently it's too cold. Samuel and I are the only ones that turned our cars off. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> oh, it can go over that. Yes. Yep. Okay, okay. Bye. Love you. I just got home and my feet were so cold. I took off my boot because I felt like the boot was just like preventing the hot air from the car from warming my foot up. And it was such a good idea. I feel so much better now. And my other foot is still a little cold. And I have some I found some chips. I forgot I had chips in my car. I could have been snacking on the way home. And I also had this drink. It's now frozen. But it'll thaw and I can try it later. Thankfully, we have a Toyo stove. So it can, it doesn't keep the house hot, but it keeps it, you know, uh, warm enough that we're not freezing when we get inside. We did not always have one of those in the cabin. That was miserable. We would get home and it'd be like 40 degrees in the cabin and we would just stay by the fire with our coats on for a really long time. We did not have kids when we did that. Kisses. Yeah, it's good. How about a go? <laughs> 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 Let's do ocean. Oh, all right. Well, it is bedtime for the kids. So Samuel and we're going to Molly. And we're going to Molly's house and we wake up in the morning. Yep. We have to work tomorrow, so we need to get some sleep. Literally, Samuel brought more wood in when he got home. So we should be set on wood for her. the rest of the night. Is she done with her story? Let me look. Beep, beep.